Hi, I'm Shirlene Burnett. Thanks for coming to our website and thanks for listening to what we have to say. I work with my husband, Troy, and together we shoot weddings all over the world. We've worked with many different brides and grooms over the years, and we've listened to their concerns and their desires around finding the perfect wedding photographer. After over a decade of being in the wedding industry, I think we've seen it all, the good, the bad, and the ugly. I've put together these tips to help you make the best decision you can in finding the right wedding photographers. In this video, we'll cover what I consider to be five crucial considerations to take into account when choosing your wedding photographer. Who you choose to capture your wedding day is a major decision with long lasting significance. So my first tip is take the time to get to know your photographers. When you think about it, you're gonna spend more time on your wedding day with your photographer than you are gonna to get to spend with your new husband or wife. They're gonna be with you from the moment you start getting ready until you collapse at the end of the day. It's an incredibly intimate relationship that you develop with your wedding photographer. For the better or for worse, your wedding photographer's presence is going to affect your mood and your experience of the day and potentially how you remember your wedding day for many years to come. If you feel natural and comfortable with your photographer and they're adding to the joy of your day, then that's going to come out in your pictures. My second tip is really, really important, and that's not to underestimate the value of your wedding pictures. I didn't understand myself how important those pictures were going to be. I was like a lot of you out there where I had a budget and I thought because I'm a photographer, I can dress my pictures up. I didn't put the money I should have put into the wedding photography. Now, I really want to say that again. I am a wedding photographer who believes strongly in the importance of beautiful images in our lives. And even I didn't spend enough money on my wedding photography. Your wedding photos are going to be with you for a lifetime. They're going to be the pictures that you most treasure and that your parents are going to treasure too, because remember, they have been looking forward to your wedding day almost as much as you have. I think that if my house were on fire, the first things I would grab would be my wedding photos, because those are the things that mean the most to me. Those pictures are my legacy to my family. Tip number three, budget wisely. Invest in the things that last. Photo albums, wall art, enlargements. Your pictures are gonna mean so much to you. Maybe you don't feel that way today, but the moment you have a baby or the moment you lose someone in your life that you love, you're gonna go back to those pictures and they're gonna mean the world to you. Way down the road, when the party is over and done, no one's going to remember what your guests ate, what little knickknacks you gave your guests as party favors, how long the bar stayed open. No one's going to remember that. They're going to remember whether they had fun or not, and you're going to be left with your memory. Your wedding pictures are your memories. They're one of the only things that's going to last after the day is done. Good photography will bring you right back to the emotions you experienced on that day. They freeze time forever, so you don't have to rely on your capricious memory. Your wedding day is going to be larger than life. It's the one time when people from all the different chapters of your life come together for one reason. To support you and your love. Over time, those pictures will become priceless. You know, at the end of the day, everything you spend your money on on your wedding is going to be gone. The only thing that's going to be left is you and your partner and your wedding images. So at least get something out of it that will last forever, that you'll truly enjoy 
for a lifetime. Tip number four, look past the price. You only do this once, so invest in the best photographer you can afford. My heartfelt advice to you is look past the number, look past the price, and see wedding photography in the grand scheme of your life. I understand the need to stay within a budget, but I also know from experience that not investing in an excellent photographer is a mistake that will haunt you for the rest of your life. In photography, like many other things, you get what you pay for. Here's an example straight out of my own experience. This is the Mount Stevens Hall at the Fairmont Banff Springs. It is a gorgeous room. It's perfect for weddings. It's just fairy tale and dreamlike in every way. And in this picture, it took us about eight lights to light the room properly so that you can feel the warmth and see the decor of the room and understand how wonderful it is to actually be there. This is the same room at roughly the same time of day but it doesn't look anything like the previous picture. It's dark and it looks cold and sterile and this picture does not capture at all what it was like to be there. Now I know this from experience because the bride in the photo is me and what I wouldn't do today to have a beautiful picture of my first dance in that gorgeous room. The reality is if you don't get it right the first time, there's no dressing it up. There's no going back. It's a once in a lifetime experience. Find a way to make your dream photography happen. Take a look at your budget and reallocate expenses as you must. Maybe you don't need so many floral arrangements on the table, or maybe you can do without that fancy lingerie. Look at your budget and reallocate things to find the resources to invest in quality photography. Even one amazing picture from your wedding day that you totally love will have made it all worth it. Tip number five, your photographer's skill set checklist. These are the things that I think are most important that your wedding photographer should have mastered. Lighting is essential to beautiful photography, and your photographer should be able to craft light in any situation. We all love candid shots, but equally as important is the lost art of posing. Your photographer should be able to pose you for those big, show-stopping landscape portraits that you want to create into wall art. If you want your images to stand out from the rest, then your photographer should have a healthy dose of artistic vision. And since the weather changes so rapidly here in the mountains, your photographer should be able to make beautiful pictures in any weather conditions. The results of doing your homework and researching your photographer's abilities will be well worth it. I sincerely hope you have a wonderful wedding day. Good luck with the planning. And since you're on my site, I do hope to hear from you. I would love to be the one capturing those memories for you. Give us a call. Let us show you how we can make your day incredible. Mwah! I hope you found these tips useful. If you've enjoyed this video, please go ahead and hit that like button and share it with your friends and family. And if you're looking for more helpful advice on anything around weddings and wedding photography, then subscribe to our channel on YouTube or go to our website at www.shirleenburnett.com.